Yeah, I think so. Um, I think generally you shouldn't see open research, open scholarship in competition with traditional scholarship because I think they can be complementary. But I suppose one obvious downside is I don't publish as much as I used to, sort of traditional publishing. And if that was really important, that might be an issue. I mean, part of that's because uh, I blog and things, um, and in some ways that kind of just scratches the creative writing itch, if you like. So I don't need to publish, and sometimes it's just, that's just a better way to get stuff out there, whereas before I might have in a conference paper, an article paper. Um, but I think it's a more efficient way of doing it. If, if publications are the one thing that's important, then it might impact on that. Um, I haven't really had much of the issues that some people get, you know, about getting involved with people trolling you or kind of offensive behaviour, but then I work in educational technology and I know people who work in more controversial subjects or subjects where there are kind of big strong interest groups. So I know people who work in climate change, for instance, you know, if it seems to be anything out there in the open, you kind of got to be prepared to defend it, spend a lot of time engaging with communities or just be prepared to kind of take flight. So I think it can be difficult. Um, and I think occasionally it can be a bit of a time sink, but I, I think in general I found it, I think there's an investment stage. So when I started blogging, when I started using Twitter and that kind of stuff, it took time to do it, kind of additional time, but then you reach a kind of payoff point where actually it starts to save you time. So now if I need to know something, I've got a very good network. I can just put a call out on Twitter, a laser web call, and it will save me time from doing it. And the same thing I was mentioning writing that book, I think um, having access to that network saved me time. So I think there is a kind of, Initial investment phase, which is over, but generally it's been positive for me and many downsides.